You are listening to ChartingWealth.com for Friday the 14th of October 2016. Did you see our Twitter blast post yesterday? Market up but trending down. Well, that's exactly what happened over the course of Thursday the 13th. That's what we saw, how the market ended. Actually, total market down 0.42%. And as we look at the trend line, it comes as no surprise whatsoever. Market crossed over going down. This is the total market as represented by IYY back on the 24th of August. Slid sideways for a little while. Big drop over two of our two-day candles on the 9th and the 13th of September. Then it went up for a little bit and has been trending sideways and down since about the 5th of October. We're in a confirmed downtrend. Derivative oscillators continue to heat up. And our MACD has angled sharply down. If we look intraday, what do we see? Well, we see a crossover entry point back on the morning of Tuesday the 11th. If you would have jumped in then, even the worst time of the day on Tuesday morning, the low was 107.68. Where was the low throughout the course of the day on Thursday? All the way down to a low of 105.74. That is about $2 in two days. Now, you might be saying, wait a minute. Actually, it's yeah, three days. And you might be saying, well, wait a minute. You're saying it's down $2. How do you make money when the market goes down? please make sure to go to our website or go to our YouTube channel, ChartingWealth.com or the Charting Wealth YouTube channel or our iTunes channel, Charting Wealth. And please, please, by all means, listen to our inverse funds, how to make money when markets crash. Almost all the different funds in the market, whether it's the total market, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ 100, or gold, there are inverse funds that move up when the underlying, in this case, on the S&P 500, be the underlying index, goes in the opposite direction. So that's how you make money when a market goes down. You short the market. And there are easy ways to do that. You can do that with options, too, with puts. You can also do it by buying an inverse fund. So I want you to practice those things. Go listen to that training. It'll help you out a lot. Now let's jump into the two-day chart on the S&P 500 as represented by the index SPY. What do we see going on there? Same kind of thing we saw in the total market. It's been hammering down, well, particularly over the course of the last two-day candle, but the market started going back down again on the 5th of October, and we've seen it continue down. If we look intraday at the four-hour chart, what do we see going on? Market down big in the in the morning on the 13th, recovered a little bit in the afternoon, and we see the market, your entry point was again on Tuesday morning, and you could have jumped in there and ridden this market down. Again, when you do enter one of these trades, always figure out how much you'd like to make and put in a good till canceled sell order at the time you do the purchase of the security. Practice doing that. It's always worth your while in in case there is a flash crash or there is some type of flash, uh, I don't know what you call it, but the market zooms up. Uh, You want to make sure that you take advantage of having a good till canceled sell order at a reasonable profit, so you don't have to think about it. Even if you're not around, it'll happen, and you'll be locked in. We do not believe in stops. Please, again, if you're interested in what we think about those things, got a great training online about not using stops and another method to protect yourself, because once you a stop's activated, it's going to be a market order, and you can find yourself really screwed out of a good position. So let's continue to move along. What do we see going on on the Qs? The Qs is the NASDAQ 100. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, for the record, SPY was down 0.33. Uh, IYY down 0.42. The Qs down 0.36%. Actually, the Qs has closed below the weekly trend line. We crossed over going down, although the weekly chart is still going up. The two-day chart crossed over going down all the way back on the 26th of August, but 
as we say over and over and over, when you have the biggest trend, which is the weekly trend, that's the biggest trend that we look at, going in the opposite direction of the two-day trend, all things being equal, the market always tends to move in the direction of the largest chart. The largest chart is the weekly chart. Always be scared of jumping in to a down move when the weekly chart's moving in the opposite direction. It's been moving, uh, the, the two-day chart has been moving in the opposite direction of the weekly all the way back, like I said, since the 26th of August, but it's actually been trending up. It's just now starting to really move over strongly. Derivative oscillator crossed over on the two-day candle ending on the 11th and has continued to power up with the MACD moving down on the two-day candle ending on the 13th. Now, if we look intraday, what do we see? We see, of course, there was a crossover going down back on the 11th. We had some caution there simply because the two-day, the weekly trend line was still going up. So we didn't call for any serious jumping in on trades just because of our fear about where the weekly trend was. It didn't work over and over and over again as we saw the market slide sideways and continue to bear up. So again, word of caution, pay attention to that weekly trend. Why do we talk about that over and over again? Because it's so important. And that's the reason you need to listen to our weekly review and forecast, because it'll tell you what the trends are so you can keep up with those on your daily market worksheets. Don't have a daily market worksheet? You can get one by just signing up for our daily newsletter. We'll send you that, a link to our How to Read Stock Chart video, and the charting layout we use here at freestockcharts.com. Lastly, going to take a look at gold. Gold is actually down on the two-day chart, has been down on the two-day chart since the 8th of August. The weekly chart also is bearing down at this moment. However, our trading chart in gold that has worked over and over really good for us is the four-hour chart. Now, again, some trepidation when everything else, the big charts, are still bearing down and gold is going up on the four-hour chart. If that four-hour chart wasn't such a beauty because it has worked again and again and again, even as the market has been going down, but look how much better it worked. I'm looking at charts moving up on the four-hour chart back on the 21st. It went up a little bit. For a few days, you could have made out there on our four-hour chart, but man, when it moved over going down on the 28th of September, you cleaned up. If you recall me talking about that, if you would have jumped in the lowest point back on the 28th when the four-hour chart moved over paralleling the weekly and the two-day on a downtrend, lowest, worst buy-in would have been 126.11. And we're, what was its low? The low was 118.42. So 126 to 118 over the course of, that's from the, uh, it ended on October the 7th, and you would have gotten in somewhere around September the 28th. What is that, about 10 days? Is that not an incredible, incredible amount of money to have earned in your virtual trade? And the reason we say virtual trade is we're not a stock calling service not advising you to spend any money. We do not give market advice. What we want you to do is to practice with us. Listen to what we talk about. Practice. Once you get good at this and you become a chart reading master, man, you've got literally, potentially, if you're good at it, a printing press. If you are prescient and can see trades as they're developing into the future, is it not like a printing press? Well, that's why we practice every single day. That's why you use that daily market worksheet. You fill it out like clockwork. You keep it in a binder. You want to supercharge your training. Do it. Great training video. It's the last one that we did. You can find it at our Charting Wealth YouTube channel, and you can also find it on the website. And that is our training on how to use the daily market worksheet. Man, we appreciate you being with us. God bless you. I hope that this is working out for you. If you appreciate what we do, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe and go to our iTunes channel. Subscribe, give us a five-star rating. Say something nice about us. Help us in the metrics. You guys have made us as, as high as number six in the world as far as stock market podcasts go. God bless you. Let us hear from you. Chartingwealth.com.